Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another bucket or spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit the subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the below and I will give you a shout out when I get around to it. This one was actually not suggested by anybody, but rather just because there's a new version of Minecraft coming out, I thought I, thought I would revisit how do you get bucket or spigot jar files so you don't have to go to some random websites and download them because it can't legally be provided anymore because of some legal stuff since i think 1.8 so you have to run this program which will basically compile the version on your computer rather than somewhere else and then downloading it. it's kind of like a loophole it's pretty cool so anyway it's provided by spigot and it's called build tools and it will give you both the spigot and bucket uh, jar file, whichever one you want to use, which is really cool. Now there's kind of a semi complicated way to do this. And then there's an easy way to do this. So obviously we're going to do the easy way. Unfortunately, if you have the easy way, you can, you have to be using windows seven through 10, one of those versions. And then you need to have Microsoft.net 4.5 installed. If you do not, there's an install below or a download link and an install that you can get that installed. So let's go ahead and show you guys how this build tools program works. Okay, so once you have it downloaded, you're going to have this exe file. So you're just going to go ahead and run that and you're going to get this window here. So in this window, you got a few different options. You can automatically check for updates. You can manually check for updates to the build tools. And then you can have it automatically compile the latest version. Now, I don't really like to leave that because sometimes it's not the latest, latest version. So, and then especially with this 1.10 business, I'm not sure why they didn't just go to 2.0 because this looks like it's at the beginning of the list now. So we're going to select 1.10 and then you're going to go ahead and click run build tools and that's it. So it's going to go through and it's going to say a whole lot of stuff. And basically what it's doing in the background, it's downloading all the necessary files and compiling them on your computer. So I'll bring it back once it wraps it up here. Okay, so once that finishes, you're going to see this on your screen. You're going to see success, everything compiled successfully. If it did not, then you'll see a failure note that you can then work off of. But basically, it tells you exactly where it saves the files to, the spigot and bucket. So we're going to go ahead and close this. And then it's basically in this build tools, which was now created since you've run that exe. And then you're going to see all of the files that you need there. And that's it. So go ahead and use them. If you're running a host, you can run a custom jar and use one of those, or you can just replace that for your startup bat if you're running that locally. This is Kaz. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Enjoy the game. God bless. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video that tutorial i know it was kind of a quick one it's been kind of a crazy last couple of weeks and the time has just not been there to make the videos um this is a hobby so i don't take it out of my normal day-to-day -day stuff so it's kind of all in my free time and i haven't had any at all in the last two weeks so hopefully next week we'll be able to start back with the normal tutorials so thank you for tuning in thank you guys so much for all the support and thank you for my Patreon supporter for supplying that cup of coffee. So thank you guys so much.